Hello YouTube family, James Green, short series shenanigans. We're set up here today. We're going to be doing a demo on our recently acquired Hypertherm Powermax 45 XP. Now I picked this machine up locally. Uh, it had less than 10 hours of runtime on it. I had to order the drag torch for it. Uh, and of course, you know, I had to make a ground cable for it, no big deal, but the the individual who had this yeah, was on a machine so the torch setup wouldn't work. Just so you know, those drag torches are about 450 bucks. So if you find one, they're not like, oh, 100, 200 dollars. comes direct from Hypertherm because it's a new T45V. And uh, it's got your safety there and everything. Drag tip. Uh, liking it. I've played with it about maybe five minutes so far. Real simple setup. Uh, you can run 135 max PSI. I've got it set on 100. Now, you, oh, it's simple hookup. You hook your air in the back, 220, turn it in, or plug it on, plug it in, turn it on, and then you can set, you know, for your amperage. I'm just going to leave it on 45 because we're cutting some uh, 5 16th material here. I just want to see. Uh, I've already got water removal set up in my air compressed system for the garage, desiccant and separators and all that. So you got to have that because you don't want water in your system. Plus being here in New Mexico, it's not real humid, so that's a plus. Got the fan going in the background. You can hear that fan running. You probably got a little wind noise. I'm going to move you guys to the other side. Now it'll probably be a little washout. Matter of fact, let me lower this just a little bit so it won't wash out as bad. I'll drop my garage door. A little bit. Okay, we've got the garage door down so it shouldn't wash as bad. I'm going to move you guys to the other side. This is what we're going to be cutting here. Uh, we're straight cutting all this old material off this edge here. This is going to get cut into short pieces for knife making material for local buddies of mine that do make knives. I do make some but not very often. Um, plus this stuff has to be annealed still. so. I'm going to set you guys back here out of wind range because there's the big fan that's running. And uh, you guys can see what we got going on. Got us a straight edge set up. Uh, we cleaned this off a good spot. You got to have a good clean spot if you're working on rusty metals. Otherwise, your torch will shut right back off because it senses resistance. So, let me make sure my phone is turned down here out of the way and out of my pocket just to make sure. Alright. And away we go.
So far, so good, guys. Loving it. Really good ad. I see him just learning all the little tricks to running this uh, plasma cutter here. You know, got a little dross, but I ain't worried about it. For what I'm doing, this is going to come off now. I just wanted a straight edge to start. Set these over here out of the way. That's what a four foot ruler's for. Or a piece of straight material. So what we're going to do now is this is going to get cut up in, uh, in relatively short pieces. Let's see. Let's just make some marks here real quick. And 12 inch length. And 12 inch, because these this has to be annealed so it'll set in my it'll fit in my uh, furnace. You guys can see there. All right, more wide angle cutting here. a little bit of the demonstration of the Hypertherm Powermax 45. Move you guys over here. So loving the machine. It's very, very light. I mean, this thing is super light. 
How light is it? Well, <laughs> my, my left arm's not the strongest, but uh, you can pick it up. You know, real easy, portability. If you needed to take that on a job site, uh, it's strictly 220, but you had a 220 generator, you need to do some stuff, real simple hookup. I mean, nothing to it. I'm really, really impressed with uh, what I've seen so far. Uh, watched a lot of videos in anticipation to getting this. I'm loving it. That's a local deal that I stumbled into and uh, got to add it to the uh, <laughs> Red Tower of Power with the Lincoln Dual 180 power mig and the TIG 200 square wave. Um, that's a neat setup right there. So if, because uh, I've had people ask and they want to know how much. So depending on where you're at, those are about 1500, 1600 out the door, the, the TIG 200s. Uh, those are about a thousand bucks out the door. Now I did get the spool gun with this. That is more. Um, I've been playing with the spool gun and it's a, it's been a long time since I've used a spool gun. I mean, we're talking like early 90s so there's a lot of stuff that's coming back to me now you know preheating the aluminum getting it warm and then just playing with speeds and feeds so when you go to do to use the spool gun whatever you're running 5356 4043 wire it'll work i got that's a big uphill climb for me to learn right now that spool gun um plasma cutter i love it um matter of fact i haven't printed out a color sheet whenever i got this let me grab it here. It is right all right here we go. Knocking that over. There we go. So when you guys get your uh, expendables for doing you have dry cutting then you have your mechanized so when I got this the guy had a mechanized torch but I'm using the dry cutting of the drag tip. Now what's unique about this, if you want to do fine cutting, you actually order the consumables for the PowerMax 30. And so it narrows you use, end up using, and it shows you here to do the fine cutting. Um, that's what you actually do, and it narrows the cutting stream down, is what it does. Um, then for gouging, I thought they had ordered those. They didn't, they ordered them. Um, those are coming in so if you need to do air arcing is what they call it uh, you can cut that out you know you need to blow out old weld and stuff so those are coming and then you have like the unshielded uh, you need to get in here or correction you need to get in here to do high access drag cutting um, you know to where you can stick everything down in there and the only parts that's different is the electrode the nozzle and the retaining cap the swirl ring is the same so um that's something i want to invest in it is kind of pricey from what i understand and it only comes on the for the hand torches from the 15 to the 45. Um, that's let's say you need to reach up in an odd angle or down inside something uh to where you have a narrow space you need to cut and the standoff is about like that so that's something later on down the road i'm going to get and when i do i'll show you guys uh very very reasonable on the consumables um you know, the only issue I ran into, and it was something I just overlooked, was I forgot to get me a nice clean spot for my ground clamps. So I, it would run, and then it would shut off and run. I was like, oh, after about twice, I went, wait a minute, I need a nice shiny spot. Grab the grinder, so you have good contact. Nothing difficult. So if that's something you want to invest in, uh, for the Garage Warrior, you can pull up the tech uh, specifications online i'm not going to go into great detail but for me for what i'm doing here that will do any and everything so i want to say thank you to everybody out there in social media land when i was looking at this before i even stumbled across this deal i was you know what brand you know because i wanted to add just a standalone uh plasma cutter thank you to everybody i know there was a lot of people on facebook social media groups like welders around the world which was really helpful so when you have literally like 45,000 people in a welding group and worldwide everyone says hypotherm or hypertherm is the way to go, I'm happy. And then I have, you know, a week and a half later I stumbled across this deal. So out the door you can get these rigs for about 1600 bucks new. That's complete with everything. Mine I happened to pick up secondhand at a remarkable deal. 
but just note that now they do have a 50 foot lead you can get for this and it's pricey it's i want to say about 600 if i remember right but or five, 550 600 depending on where you're at and you know nice thing about hypertherm their stuff is price fixed to a cent to you know so dealers can't go in and like try to charge you double and triple on stuff that's part of the thing of being when you get from deal with a hypertherm dealer i like that uh, that's so big shout out to the guys at maths and gas i know they're a national company the guys here in albuquerque on second street they're phenomenal um your experience may vary depending on where you're at but the guys down at second street here in albuquerque big shout out thanks i appreciate it you guys uh, i'm not going to be able to attend the john saunders uh, open house this year uh, i've already mentioned that in last video um you know i just got some stuff come up and other things are just more important right now as far as my health and taking care of family and stuff you guys know that's the monster on my channel i am going to be out at bar z summer bash i will be there so you know uh with that being said i hope john's able to put a live feed that'd be interesting to watch and see what's going on with everything but uh, you guys have fun i look forward to you know your comments down in email my eagle my public email address eagle dust off 37 at gmail.com so out here in the garage i tell you guys i would show you as soon as i got it um up and running we are working on the power draw bar uh, i had to redo some things and it's cooling off right now had to remake it and shorten up the a little cooler had to cut all that off and uh these are going to get cut off i just welded them on long right now we're letting it cool off but I had to shorten the whole thing up and I had to do it from this end because it wouldn't chuck. So essentially I had to re-machine all this stuff out. And uh, it's still, I can handle it and welded that up with the TIG 200. Turned out great uh, when you have an AC welder that's actually working. So that's going to get mounted and I'll show you once it's mounted because I've got to go through. I'm going to tilt the head and get it all drilled and tapped and we're going to mount it with quarter 20 and you'll see. So that'll be... The final video, once it's installed, air hooked up, everything. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys and gals. If you have any questions, digging metal out of my shirt, public email address, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. I'm on social grant, uh, social grant, <laughs> Instagram and Twitter at eagledustoff37. Thanks for following. You guys, take care of yourself and take care of family. Because remember, at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got. If you have any questions about the hypertherm that I might be able to answer, hit me up. If not, go to their website. Lots of great stuff. I'm really pleased with the product. You guys take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.